Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very healthy dish. Spinach and meatballs. Um, it's a Turkish dish. It's very healthy for you. As you know, spinach has um, full of iron goodness. Very healthy. So, uh, first of all, let you know there's two types of spinach. Uh, this is called ispanach. And then you've got the spinach with just... Um, and just like it's on a, a singly sold single and that's called puzzle um, but this is the one that we're going to be using the one that has uh, a root with all the leaves attached and then we'll be cutting the uh, root chopping them up and then washing them but first of all the ingredients then the main ingredients obviously is um, spinach which is spanach then we're going to need um, some minced meat an onion, uh, flour, olive oil, uh, salt and pepper, and I always like to use a little bit of um, chili flakes, so I've got chili flakes, so that's optional, and a little bit of um, a tomato puree. So that's all the ingredients that we're going to need. Now to get uh, the spinach ready. As I said with the spinach, you just need to cut this root bit off. You just chop it off like that. If there are any bad leaves in it, then just take them away. Um, and then what you would do is chop it up into a bowl. Like so, just chop them up like an inch apart so just chop them up into um, inch uh, thickness fill it out with water what you need to do is really wash them well because they do come out muddy so you need to really wash them, soak them up first, keep washing them and then what you would do is drain, drain them off get rid of that water, rinse your bowl there, pour that back in, into it keep washing and draining until you don't have any more dirt inside the water so you'll need about three four times of um, washing them this way rinsing it pouring it in and keep doing that so that's the first thing you need to do is cut off the um, the roots if there's any bad leaves take it away if not just um, an inch apart just chop them up all into your Ball, leave it to soak keep washing draining washing draining at least three four times and then you'll have your uh, spinach ready to be cooked so I'll carry on doing that now okay I have um, washed and drained and washed and drained um, I've done it about four or five times to be quite honest just to make sure that there's no mud in it so that's a draining off in the meanwhile you want to get your minced meat. I've got minced down here, but you can use whatever you like. I've chopped up the onion, so one chopped onion will go into that. You can grate your onions. They're very sharp onions, these onions. You can grate them, but I like, um, I just like having uh, pieces of onions in mine. So, um, chopped up onion in there. Then we're going to need our flavourings, so I've got salt, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a little spoon of chilli flakes, and like I said this is optional. So you've got all that ingredients in there, now give it a good mix, mix it all up well. Okay, once you've uh, mixed up all your uh, minced meats, flavourings and onions, get a, just a little tray or something. 
a little bowl will do. And just put two um, tablespoons of flour into it. So you've just got some flour into the bowl. And then what you want to do is make your meatballs. You might need to get a bowl of water, so you just dip your hands in it like that. Get just a small amount and just make them into round meatball shapes like so, just tiny bits like that and then drop it into the flour so keep doing that like I said if it's not um, if it starts getting sticky then just dip your um, fingers into your bowl of water just like so and then just keep making your round meatballs and drop them into the flour once you drop them into the flour what you want to do is give it a little shake so that um, coated in flour and that way they won't stick together so I'm going to carry on making my meatballs into the flour and then I'll come back to you okay so I've made all my um, meatballs and you just keep every time you put a few you just keep toast, tossing it around so that it gets coated with flour and what I'm going to do is get a sieve and just put them in so you don't you get rid of all that excess flour You're just getting rid of all the excess flour here and that's your meatballs ready I've used about 250 grams of um, mince here and I did have um, a kilo of uh, one kilo of spinach but I've only used half of it so I've got half a kilo of spinach it might look a lot but once it cooks it really does uh, go next to nothing so that's your meatballs and that's your spinach all prepared now we go over to stove to cook them. Okay, so first of all, um, you want to get your pan and just put a little bit of um, olive oil into it. If I can open it. Don't need a lot, just a little bit of olive oil. You don't need it again. Then you want to get your uh, spinach, your chopped up and diced up spinach. And what you want to do is add this little bit at a time into your saucepan. It's just a preparing at a time, otherwise it's very quick to um, cook this meal. So you just put a little bit at a time. And then into a frying pan. Just a drop of olive oil. You don't want a lot. And just a little bit of um, olive oil. And put that on. that toss around and then what you want to do once your pan's heated up I mean if you're using uh, beef mince you might have to put a little bit more oil but because I'm using lamb mince um, there's no need to so then you just get your um, sieved meatballs and pour them into the frying pan. Give it a shake. You can see how this has just reduced its size. So now we can add a bit more. So just keep adding as it reduces its size. I've got a little bit more to um, add into it. Once it's reduced, I'll add the rest in. Just keep tossing it around like so. And also your meatballs. You just want to keep shaking them up like this and let them cook a little bit. And then I'll come back. I see I'll just uh, put the rest of my uh, spinach in. As you can see, it's taken the whole lot. 
and you just want to just stir it up then again. And then with your um, meatballs, as you can see it's bringing out its own fat as well, you might just want to get a little um, a spoon just to turn them, help them turn them around. So turn them around. So just keep an eye on them, we just want them a little bit browned off. Okay, now that um, that's reduced its size and it's bringing out its own water, um, what you want to do next is add one tablespoon of um, tomato puree. So I've got one tablespoon of tomato puree to go in there. Give it a mix. It don't take long to cook at all. Once we get it all together, within 10-15 minutes, it'll be ready to be eaten. It really is um, tasty with all those meatballs in it and very healthy for you. Right, so now, then what we need to do is add our meatballs in it. We don't need to grind them off too much. So, this gets As you can see it's brought up its own um, fat so that's why you don't need to put a lot. And I think I'm going to leave it as that. So I want to mix it too much. What we want to do now is just put a little bit of water to cover it.